All right, so this is about to be a real, a real hot take, right? And I was just thinking about this uh, when I was like lying in bed or whatever. So we are obsessed about the Bridgerton, the series. I, I know I am. And it's not just because the, the main guys are just so good to look at or the women are absolutely beautiful, right? It's that the, the love that is portrayed between the two main characters of that specific season. And how and in in the way the love is professed or confessed, I never get that right. And in the passion that they have in it, the men have in it and the women have in it, whenever they say how they feel. Season one was I burn for you. You're the bane of my existence and the object of my desires. And the third one was, I can't breathe when you are not near. And we, deep down, we all want that. But what I was trying to get at is, I think the reason why we don't is because one thing we're forgetting about what it takes to do that, to express that, it takes vulnerability. You have to be in touch with the deepest parts of you and willing to come out and willing to embrace that and then willing to come out and say it. And in all of those situations, all three of those men that said those things, they were incredibly terrified. You can tell they were terrified and scared to say it. Now, even though it now, now, you know, in America, 2023 America, we don't speak in that way. We still have the ability to say truly how we feel. So honestly, I feel that if we as humans were truly honest with ourselves and ready to conquer that fear of true vulnerability, and not be afraid what other people would think, what other people would say, how other people would view how we love this particular person or why we love this particular person. We can all have that Bridgerton story.